Hello YouTube, Jax here again with another tutorial. This is about um, performance in the UDK. So I'm going to start with showing you guys how to pull up some uh, commands on the command line in order to um, check your performance to see where um, where all your little um, performance issues are coming from. Okay, to start with, a really good one to use is stat unit and it, you can see up in the right hand corner uh, you got a frame game and draw and um, what what this uh, command does is it determines the frame time bottleneck on your um, application so what the what the um, those little the the frame game and draw um, mean is the um, it shows the frame time the game thread time and the uh, render thread draw time as well as the GPU time if possible which uh, right now it's not showing for me because I'm using my laptop and so that is a very very useful tool as you can see the frames are uh, pretty um, uh, right on the edge of yellow going in and out of yellow and green as well as the draw and once again that's because I'm using my laptop um, so it's running a bit slowly um, but this is this is very useful to see if you're um, what general direction you're taking uh, too many resources from. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Stat unit. Okay, got rid of that. Let's pull up another one. Um, this one is also very useful and it just shows the uh, frames per second. And uh, generally, you want to be in the green, you want to be above 30 frames per second at any given time, even when the bullets are really flying and particle particle effects are going all over the place you want to be you want to be above that marker and um, you yeah I'm, I'm dipping down quite a bit because once again I'm, I'm using my laptop so uh, do not allow that to happen in any of your games because that is bad so let's get rid of that let's pull up Let's see. There's a. I don't know if you can do it from here, but no verify. GC. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can. Yeah, you you can't do it from here, but. Um, in another command line, I don't know exactly where it is, um, but you can enter in a a, uh, a command called no verify GC. What it'll do is it'll turn off garbage collection verification, and so uh, you can get a better result um, for your performance, and so it doesn't uh, skew your data in any way. Another useful one that you can't do from this command line is disabling vsync. Um, basically, what it does is it 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 kind of pads the uh, frame time to the game's refresh rate, which of course uh, skews your data for your performance, and you don't want that. You want to get an accurate result for your performance issues. That way, you can address it properly. Here's another one that we can actually use is a uh, stat slow. And this is a pretty useful one. What it does is it it pulls up a bunch of stuff, um, game thread idle time and uh, rendering thread busy time, all all this stuff. Generally, it, it pulls up threading stat system, engine game physics, scene rendering and what the DirectX 11 is doing 
and um, in mine it's looking pretty good except for frame time and that's because um, yeah the engine's frame time isn't doing too well because my laptop um, processing power is relatively poor for um, uh, frame rates so everything else is looking pretty good you just really have to look for those yellow indicators yellow or red indicators indicators and when you find that look it up find out what it is and how to fix it and that will help you increase your performance so I hope this video helped you guys and um, hope this will help you improve your performance on your games because I know a lot of people have issues with this I've had issues with performance added too much stuff added too many particle effects and got bogged down and it took me a long time to figure out how to kinda get a hold of that fix everything and it's better to just watch this on the get-go than to have to go back and fix everything so keep an eye on your performance uh, while you're making these applications and games and stuff it's just it's much easier to do it check it every now and then to make sure you're on the right track rather than to go back and have to fix a bunch of stuff and hunt down where the issues you're having are so <laughs> thank you for listening to another one of my tutorials and I hope to see you guys in another later tutorial uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.